Hello makeup artists! This is an introductory video to the Preta Makeup app. I will guide you through all the tools and features of this app so you can start right away. When you first open the app, you will find three tabs below here. The first section is the makeup. Here all the cosmetic products, textures and colors are. Gallery section. Here you can find all the makeup projects and blank face charts to begin a new makeup. Mood blog. Mood blog section where the developer team keeps an informative page of what is new with Preta Makeup and Preta Template apps. Let's review closer the makeup section. If you pull the tab, you will find a lot of products gathered in lines. Each line represents a kit collection of makeup products with a different theme. Each cosmetic product comes in a different range of colors. You can find everything from foundation, concealer, highlighter, powder, blush, glitter, lip pencil, cream lipstick, matte lipstick, and other products, even the eyelashes. If you wish to see colors of the same product but different kit, you just pull the tab and you'll find them all right here. Let's see powder colors of all the collection. Now let's review closer a gallery section. When you pull the tab, you will find all your recent projects lined up in here. If you want to start a new gallery, you will find the button New Gallery here. That will allow you to add new projects when you pull the tab, you'll find all your different galleries here. If you want to start a new project, you press on the plus and here you have a face template that you can choose from. If you press this little button here, you will open the view where all the projects are visible at once. You can shuffle them, changing their order. And if you press the edit button, you can delete multiple projects at the same time. You can change the name of your gallery here by tapping on this line. If you open the mood blog, you will find a lot of what's new in the Preta Makeup and Preta Template apps. For example, the mood boards of the new makeup collection, different face charts, different makeup tutorials and more. Now I would like to create a new makeup and demonstrate you how this works. So I open the makeup section. Let's pick a foundation and I will fill in the entire face area. And the app is designed in a way that whenever you're painting one um, part of the face, the color stops within the borders so you can do it really quickly and have a neat illustration. The color is semi-transparent, so you can layer it until you have the coverage that you want. And I will use the concealer from the same collection. Concealer removes shine and smoothens the texture. And now I can use a highlighter. When you're drawing, it's really nice pick your iPad and rotate it from side to side. That way you can see the light and shadow from the face and understand better how the product works with the light. I want to take a powder, but from another collection. So now that I pull it down 
I can see different colors and I can choose the one I like. So I'm using it across the entire face. It will reduce the shine. Another feature that you can use here is a symmetrical face. Once you apply the color to one part of the face, it will be automatically applied to the other side. That way you will have a symmetrical design. And this button is a makeup remover. So I want to start using the glitter. I will apply the symmetry and have it on both eyes at the same time. So if I want to use the eyeliner of another color, I just pull the tab and I see all the collections. So I can pick the black one. And apply it to the makeup. And I'm keeping my symmetry button on so that I'm only drawing one side and automatically have the symmetrical result on the other side. The pressure of the pen affects the result too, so be conscious of that. Press lighter when you need a thinner line and press harder when you need a thicker line. You can also choose some products to add color to the eyes and to the hair. For example, you can make the wet hair effect with this product. And I will use another eyeshadow to add the eye color. Here's the final makeup. You can see how it looks with the light and shadow on the volume of the face by tilting the iPad. And if you go to the gallery section, you will find it appearing here where you have created it under the new collection. It's automatically saved. If you press plus, you can start a new face. Coming back to gallery, you will see it appearing here. I really hope you like this video. Have fun creating your own art, 
please like this video and subscribe to this channel.